Hey there, my name is Shannon Hoskinson, and I have felt for a while a little frustrated in the social selling pace space, and maybe not even a little, but a lot. And through that frustration, I have forged forward. I have learned great lessons and I'm still in the middle of my journey. I'm still in the middle of some frustrations, but something that I know from the company that I'm with is that people enjoy learning with you along on your journey versus when you've hit your destination and then you tell everyone how you got there, right? And I don't know how many of you are Brene Brown fans, but she said once, she did this video once, and she said, how many of you in the audience like being vulnerable? And no one raised their hand. And then she said, how many of you enjoy when someone else is vulnerable? And everyone raised their hand, right? Because everyone enjoys someone else who is vulnerable. I know I do. I know I do. And so as I've been on my social seller's journey, I've realized that I really love the comeback stories. I love the stories that are about, you know, maybe you got successful and then you fell back and then you regained some success. I love those stories. I don't love overnight success sensation stories. Those are actually a little defeating to me. Uh, maybe because I'm a little pessimistic about that. Like I know that nothing worth having just happens overnight. There's a lot of background to that success that I think gets missed because we're so focused on the success. So with that, I intend to start sharing just some lessons that I've learned along the way in hopes that my vulnerability speaks to you, that maybe you feel like, yes, somebody is saying exactly what I've been feeling, or maybe you're encouraged. Um, So to back up real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shannon Hoskinson. I live in Topeka, Kansas. I have three kids. I've been married for almost 18 years. And six years ago, I just, I joined a company just for the discount. I never had intentions of like actually sharing anything or taking advantage of the referral program. But then I did because I realized the cost of my products could be less. And suddenly I found myself with this accidental business, if you will, this, this accidental business that I didn't even really want, but I was good at it. And I loved helping people. And so I thought, well, let's just keep going until this past year, I found myself in a space where I could reach a top level. So the company I'm with, we have three top levels and I hit that, that third tier and I, and I, I ranked to that third tier level, which is huge, which is amazing. And I found myself so excited, loved getting there and then realized that's actually where the hard work starts again. You know, when you work so hard for a goal and then you you get there and then the results don't stick and it can be very frustrating. And so I've been kind of on my little journey of frustration, if you will. So with that, my my goal here, my hope is to speak to anyone that is a social seller, whether you, you know you call that being a part of an MLM, whether you know direct sales, social selling, like whatever you want to call it, you belong to a company that is word of mouth advertising, and it's not easy. And there's bumps and roads along the way. And here's what I know about myself: I love to teach, love, love, love to teach. It makes me come alive. I just feel like my best self when I'm teaching. And I've been asked a few different times to teach about things here and there on different company calls or whatever. And I've just, I've just realized that, that that passion and that ability of mine doesn't have to just be for that. It can be for anybody. And so with that, I am just going to start this little playlist on my YouTube channel called the frustrated social seller series. So if you're a social seller of any kind, like I just mentioned, and you have experienced frustration in your journey, I am hoping that this is a place where you can feel heard, seen, known, valued, and you will find encouragement to keep going on your journey. So I'm not here to air all of my frustrations and to tell you why I'm frustrated. I'm here to tell you what I've learned in the valley. Because mountaintop living, when you hit 
success. We call that mountaintop living. And the reality is, is if you think about being on a mountain, the air up there is, is uh thin. you can't, you can't live there. It's not really a place you can live. And so you've got to go back to down to the Valley for a while. Right. And then you might climb another mountain and that's kind of how I've seen this journey. And as frustrating and as tiring as it is, I think that's really normal. I think that's really normal to have a little mountaintop and then go through a valley and then go to another mountaintop. But I think often we don't see people's valleys, right? Either people aren't talking about them or those are not things we glorify, right? We don't glorify the valley. Look at her. Her business has slid backwards this far. We don't we don't celebrate that. Okay. We don't celebrate that. We celebrate, look at this person, look how fast they've gone or look how much they've done or whatever. And, and so we're always bolstering that and that's not right or wrong, but it can be really frustrating when you are in your own little season and you feel like, well, what's wrong with me? Like, why can't I keep this success or why am I in this Valley? And the great news is, is that nothing is wrong with you. You're extremely normal. And so I guess what I want to do here is normalize it for you, normalize it. Cause when I've been on my own journey, I've looked around, I've gone, how come no one in the top of this company is talking about, um, you know, falling back or losing business, or how come they're not talking about that part of their journey? Like, is there a fear around that? Is there fear that people would know that that's a possibility? Well, wouldn't you rather people know that that's a possibility? So that way, when it happens, it's not surprising and it doesn't just rock your world like it rocked mine. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in my next video. I'll tell you a little bit more about my five-year journey to the to the top, um, to one of the top tiers of the company I'm with. But I just, I realized that I so desperately want to hear from other people who have also experienced this, that I realized maybe I'm the one that's supposed to start a new trend. <laughs> maybe I'm just supposed to start talking about it and letting everyone just breathe a sigh of relief and let it be what it is. Maybe let that be normal. You don't have to like it. Okay. We don't have to like it. We don't have to like that. It's normal to ebb and flow. Like that's not what I'm saying, but it can just be what it is. And we don't have to make it mean anything good or bad. It can just be what it is. And I, I really think you can come to the table with frustration about your journey and hope for what is to come if you continue on. So with that, that's like a short intro. Um, again, I will, upload a video probably once weekly for now. So if you want to know if I upload a video, you can follow me on social, um, at Instagram. I'm at mama Hosk. That's my handle. Um, you can also just subscribe here to my channel if you want to, and then you would know when I pop up a new video, but it'll be under a channel or a series or whatever called the frustrated social seller. And then with that, you might see me start to pop up some other series. I'm also a marriage coach. Um, I do a lot of marriage mentoring and counseling with others. I'm also a child development specialist by trade. I have little nuggets there I love to share. And so I just realized that I'm always full of a lot of things that I want to share. And that's what teachers do. Teachers learn something and then they want to share it. And that's what I want to do. And so I'm going to do that here for whoever's watching, whether it's one or a million, it doesn't matter to me, but if I can help one person, that's why I'm here. So you'll see me here with this messy background. Most weeks I'm, this is, this is my basement. This is where my office is because I have three kids and people play piano, people play air hockey, and I do projects over here and it just is what it is. And back there is Easter candy for an Easter egg hunt. So this is where I'm at. Um, I don't have like a business plan right now. I don't have any of that. It's just me showing up in this space, offering you my most authentic, vulnerable self with the lessons I'm learning in the hopes that I can encourage somebody or inspire somebody in their own journey. So Thanks for being here. I'll be back next week, talk a little bit more about my journey, and I'll just continue to share snippets and encouragement for you.